Spurs chat podcast joins me now. Chris, uh, Spurs, they look to have beaten Bayern Munich to the signing of Dragosin. How pleasing is that? Well, good afternoon to you. You can tell by the smile on my face how happy I am at the moment with this, uh, you know, another new signing at Tottenham Hotspur because the recruitment since Ange Postacoglu has been appointed as Spurs head coach has been absolutely top notch. Um, he seems to be, you know, really identifying players that he wants. And, you know, we're signing player after player. The summer window is very, very impressive. And after you showed those stats there, you know, get him in the team in the starting eleven. Um, against Manchester United on Sunday. I cannot wait to see him in a Spurs shirt. And the fact that he has joined Spurs over Bayern Munich, I think, says um, a lot about uh, where Spurs are and, uh, you know, what our ambitions are as a football club. I think that the uh, recruitment, as I say, has been absolutely excellent since Andrew's come in. Um, and I love the, the fact that he uh, seems to FaceTime a lot of these players. He wants to know a lot about them and their personalities. And, uh, you know, I'm super excited about another really, really good signing because, of course, we needed defensive reinforcements. We've got Timo Werner in as well very early on in the window, which is very impressive. I think to cap this window off, um, if we could sign a midfielder in this window, it would be, um, you know, the perfect window. We had almost a perfect window in the summer. And I'm just so delighted to see that Ange Postacoglu is being backed at the football club and very, very early on in the windows because it is imperative to our season that we finish in a Champions League spot. Ange Postacoglu is uh, delivering, you know, entertaining football and he's had so many um, issues to deal with, suspensions, injuries. Uh, Pre-season wasn't easy. And despite that, and despite even playing some games with four fullbacks at the back, we've still got the results and we're still entertained um, as Tottenham Hotspur fans. But this signing uh, is another top signing, uh, a young player, very, very hungry, and uh, I'm absolutely delighted. Uh, you touched on it there. Uh, we know that Emerson Royal, Ben Davies, been playing centre-back due to those injuries. So how vital was it that they got this one over the line? Absolutely vital. I think um, we've needed a defender in for some time. I think Mickey van der Ven coming in um, you know, just before the season started was an excellent signing. Of course, we've got Christian Romero. He's had problems with injuries and suspensions this season. So to have another option, um, I think Dragusin you know, is a fantastic option to have there. I think he's going to get a lot of game time. And uh, you know, as I say, this was the signing that Ange Postacoglu wanted. He wanted uh, signings early on in the window. And uh, it's so important for us as a football club because it looks like we're going places. It looks like we are being you know, very, very serious on the pitch. Of course, everything is very rosy off the pitch, uh, but it is about you know what is on the pitch and, and us moving forward as a football club, getting Champions League football back at the football club and uh, ultimately competing for those top prizes because we haven't won a trophy in so long. Ange Postacoglu is very hungry. Uh, he's a fantastic manager. He's transformed this football club. And as I say, every Spurs fan at the moment, or most of us, have got a huge smile on our faces. And it now looks like Bayern have made Eric Dyer their number one target. Not played that much just the four times this season. Does this one make sense kind of all round? It absolutely makes sense that Eric Dyer goes out the door. And I think it would be superb business uh, for Tottenham because, of course, he's out of contract in the summer to get any money for him in this January transfer window. I think it would be top business uh, for Spurs. Um, I think it's very evident that Eric Dyer, um, you know, doesn't fit Ange Postacoglu's system, hasn't done since day one. Yes, he's had a little bit of game time under Postacoglu, but I think uh, most of the fan base feel that it is time for Eric Dyer to move on. Um, as Michael Dawson said earlier on in the show, uh, you know, he's been a great servant to the football club, but sometimes you need to be ruthless as a football club and, and say to yourselves that, you know, it's time for a change and it's time for fresh blood to come in. And, uh, you know, Postacoglu wants his team and put his stamp on this, uh, on this squad and, and move us forward and hopefully get success in the future. And Chris, we actually spoke on Saturday night when the breaking news came through that Timo Werner was on his way back to the Premier League uh, with that deal, uh, that loan deal uh, with Spurs. You were pretty optimistic when we were talking about it on Saturday. You've had time to kind of digest it a little bit more. Do you think Ange Postacoglu can get the best out of Werner? I really do. I think there's a lot of criticism from other Premier League fans about um, Timo Werner, about his spell at Chelsea, but... He has done extremely well in the in the Bundesliga for RB Leipzig, scored a lot of goals, he's provided a lot of assists and we know that he's a very versatile attacker. We know that he can play through the middle, he can play on the left, he can play on the right, which is, uh, he, he is a typical Ange Postacoglu player and I think that if anyone is going to get the best out of him in the Premier League, it's certainly going to be Ange. But 
the delightful thing to see, um, you know, and to keep hearing that every player is so um, bought into Ange Postacoglu's style, his management, and uh, they all want to keep running for Ange Postacoglu and want to keep playing for him. So I'm really, really uh, happy with both signings so far. And as I say, as I said earlier, if we can get a midfielder in this window, it would be the perfect window. But I'd love to see both of them either in the starting eleven or, you know, at least involved on Sunday against Manchester United. Put Werner straight in for the game at Old Trafford. Absolutely. I'll give him time. He's very hungry. He wants to play at the Euros in the summer. Um, you know, his interview yesterday uh, when Spurs announced it officially, um, a very, very impressive interview. He is here to play games. He is here to play minutes. Um, and he wants to win. You know, ultimately, I'm sure he wants a, a contract at the football club beyond the summer. Of course, it is initial loan with an option to buy. So he will want to impress. And uh, there's no time like the minute. And, uh, you know, get him in the team on Sunday. We kind of mentioned it before as well uh, about this actually being a pretty low risk signing, I guess, because it is just a loan deal. So if it doesn't work out, it might not be the end of the world. But do you like the way that you're seeing Spurs doing business then with that kind of low risk element? I think it's very quick, very clever business from Tottenham Hotspur. And I tell you what, um, it is great to see as a Spurs fan right now because, of course, we've gone through so many managers in the Premier League era. And, you know, when Pochettino left uh, and he was sacked and we brought in Jose Mourinho, Antonio Conte, etc., and it hasn't worked out, I think that Spurs are doing things very, very differently now. And, uh, you know, perhaps they've learned their lessons in the past. We've gone out and spent big, not necessarily worked out. You know, the likes of Tom Gondombele, record signing, He's gone out on loan various times and it's been very difficult for him. Uh, we've had club signings in before, like Jed Spence. It hasn't worked out. He's now going the other way uh, to Genoa. So it is all about good recruiting. And uh, we are certainly recru recru recruiting well um, in this transfer window, uh, which is great to see. Um, but the Werner one it is a low risk. You know, it is a loan. Um, so, you know, there's no risk whatsoever. We're paying his wages. But as I say, he's hungry. He wants to go going to want to come into this team and perform extremely well for Postacoglu. Chris, good to speak to you again. Uh, we appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Well, staying with transfers.